or Jamal with the ball requires, you know, a great effort to try to slow their momentum down. And they made us pay for like five, six possessions in a row. And it got to the free throw line, I think, twice, slowed the game down a little bit. So they, you credit them, they, it's been maybe three games like this, obviously not in the fourth quarter, like last game here, but where we've had a significant lead and they're a great team that didn't panic and slowly walked us down. You know, it was just one of those uh, tough stretches that gave them life and they took advantage of it. You've played in all but three games this season. Steve was saying, he said a couple times recently, he thinks you might be a little fatigued. Um, do, I mean, do you feel a fatigued? No. Uh, do you not want to, to, to rest at all coming up? You no. Say? Okay. What, uh, three out of your last four games, shooting numbers have been down and just missing shots, or what would you kind of attribute it to? Yeah, you miss shots. Like, it's, it's one of those things. Um, that's why they're called averages. Like, you know, you got the highs and the lows of it, and, you know, nobody, again, the standard that you set when you don't meet it, there's questions about are your legs tired or no, you just miss shots and you keep shooting. It's part of the nature of being available and playing every game, um, which, uh, yeah, never lose confidence and come back, whatever it is, Monday, try to shoot well on the road. Steph, um, uh, before the game, Steve was saying that he thought that Clay's mindset was improved um, over the last couple of days or weeks, and and um, he's more relaxed and and accepting of you know kind of coming off the bench or his new role. What do you see from him and and how he's contributing? Exactly that. Uh, <clears throat> even the game, I think he was the LA game. He only had three points. It was one of the better, you know, all-around floor games that he's had where he took what the defense gave him. He took the shots he was supposed to, you know, shoot. Some of them, or most of them, went, didn't go in, but the way that the game flows and where he gets his opportunities, he was always just making the right play, playing great defense um, on whoever his matchup was. You know, got us some, some rebounds, extra possessions that way. And then, like, tonight, it's kind of the opposite where he's hot and keeping us, uh, giving us a huge lead and a huge boost. And it's like the first nine minutes he was out there. So it all comes from understanding that no matter if it's a starting role, bench role, whatever it is, he's still Clay Thompson. And he can come in and do exactly what he did tonight. I know he wanted to, you know, shoot better in the second half, but. To just go out there and just play basketball and don't let the narratives kind of consume him. That's when he's in his, when he's at his best. Steph, uh, Steve also said he thought Chris's return, which is obviously coming up on this trip, would help you relieve some of the burden. Um, and obviously, playing, you know, he'll play the non the minutes you're not out there, but you guys also play together quite a bit. How do you see his impact on both the team and and yourself? I'm excited about it. Just when he went, when he got hurt, we were not in a great place and trying to again establish our identity we've had a pretty good run you know and built some momentum since he's been out but he's such a connector and a floor general and a guy that gets everybody in the right spot so whether it's when i'm on the bench or the rotations where we're on the court at the same time it'll hopefully uh elevate us to another you know to another level where he gets comfortable, gets his, his legs underneath him, and again, just does what he does. And that on top of how we've been playing up until tonight, uh, hopefully allow us to, to keep building.